Hi there, Sage Candy of VO2 Max Productions here with another training talk. Today I'm gonna to give you my top three marathon training tips. Whether you're just starting out and it's gonna be your first 26.2 uh, mile race, or you're a more experienced marathoner who's done lots of marathons. Uh, these top three tips, I think, are the most important for success in your race. So tip number one is get your weekly mileage up get uh, the number of miles you run each week basically as high as you've ever had it before uh, but don't get injured so it's it's a very hard balance but to get your mileage up uh, maybe if you've only run 30 or 40 miles a week in the past you maybe you want to push the envelope with 40 or 50 miles a week if you have time uh, it's definitely gonna help your marathon performance a lot and the number one way to do this is to train more consistently just get out and run six or seven days a week instead of five days a week or whatever you've done before in the past but also to, to take your easy days really easy and have some days be more of a slow recovery jog that's a minute uh, per mile to two minutes per mile even slower than your marathon pace. So uh, that's gonna reduce your risk of getting injured but also keep you getting stronger. My second tip uh, is to really focus on your long run as a key workout. The long run, I think, is the single most important workout that you could do uh, to determine marathon success. And for some long runs, whether your long run's uh, 18 miles or it tops out at 22 miles, uh, you're gonna wanna have to put in a pretty solid effort and get down to close to marathon pace uh, for a good percentage of it, or even hit marathon pace and surpass that in the latter stages of a long run. I'm a big believer in negative splits, that is running the second half of your long run workout faster than your first half. So really focus on doing those negative split long runs and getting your legs turning over fast when they're tired. It's gonna be a great way to build your strength, great way to help uh, utilize fat more efficiently as a fuel, and just a great way to train your cardiovascular system as well. And my third tip uh, for marathon training is to really work on your lactate threshold. These are tempo run types of workouts and if you've watched uh, Sandy or I have other videos on the subject uh, lactate threshold workouts, I'll link to one of them right here. But uh, basically it's, it's work a little bit faster than your marathon pace, closer to half marathon to 10K pace plus about 10 seconds per mile. So any work in between there, whether it's a 20 minute tempo run or it's doing two mile repeats uh, is gonna really help your system become more efficient at marathon pace. It's gonna improve your running form, your running economy, uh, how efficiently you utilize oxygen at faster than marathon speeds. And when you translate up to marathon race pace, uh, you're gonna feel a lot better. So again, those are my three major tips for training for your marathon. Uh, thanks again for watching. I wish you all the best of success in your uh, marathon training and be sure to subscribe for more videos.